Without a doubt, Houdini was the greatest escape artist who ever lived. Since then, thousands of magicians have repeated his death-defying escapes. You're about to find out how they're done. The magician is put into a straitjacket. This is a real straitjacket, the kind you'd find at any good asylum. It would be virtually impossible for anyone to get out of it. The straps are securely fastened. Then the magician is loaded into a large box. As he struggles with the straitjacket, the lid is put into place. Now his assistants chain it down and drill it shut. The box is rigged with explosives. He has less than a minute to get out. Again, the obligatory dancing. You'll notice that the assistants are all dressed exactly alike. There's a reason for this. We'll tell you why in a minute. What appears to be a stick of dynamite is attached to the box. The fuse is lit. The tension is mounting. Our magician has only a few seconds left to get out. Even though the audience knows this is only an illusion, it's still pretty convincing. For a second, you actually think it could be real. But you've been fooled. He's not only escaped from the straitjacket in the box, he's now in a different part of the warehouse. Here's how he did it. First for the straitjacket. As the magician is buckled into the straitjacket, he keeps his arms stiff and away from his body, giving him enough slack to eventually escape. Even using this technique, getting out of the straitjacket won't be easy. This part of the trick requires lots of practice. Let's take a look inside the box. As you can see, that extra slack is really coming in handy. Remember, timing is critical. Our magician has less than 60 seconds to remove the straitjacket and exit the box before it's lifted into the air and blown up. Now, remember when we told you about the assistant's outfits? Well, you're about to find out why they're all dressed alike. Inside the box, and now free from the straitjacket. Our magician puts on a black jumpsuit that's been hidden inside. It's exactly the same as those worn by his assistants. Then he slips out a trap door at the back of the box. He puts on a matching cap complete with long, fake hair. Now he's disguised as one of his assistants. This is where the dynamite comes in. It's not only used to create tension, but also to serve as a diversion, allowing our magician to sneak away. See him crouching down there? He runs up a flight of stairs and gets into position just before the explosion. When the smoke clears, he steps out of his hiding place and onto a nearby catwalk. Bet you didn't know that's how it's done. <laughs>